Hi everyone, it's Julie from Live For Art here again and I'm doing some multi blooms and I'm modifying them slightly to make them look more orchid like and I'm really happy with the colours that I got there but uh, I've had to, this is, I haven't done many multi blooms and here in this video you'll learn from my mistakes as well as what I got right. My first mistake is I've had got too much pillow paint. I've just got like an, a normal amount of pillow paint. And with the when you're doing multi blooms, you don't want them to spread out so far. The, as you'll see, we'll sort of lose them, lose them off the uh, off the board. But I'm mostly using um, pigments. I think the only paint I'm using is that Quinacrylic um, Crimson that I used at the end. And uh, yeah, so I've, and I've also done a mixture of blowing with my mouth and blowing with a hairdryer. I don't think I could quite decide um, what to do. So learning from my mistakes, don't, I've got to watch the drips when you're using a stick and, and modifying them because they spoil it. But I've just come in to enhance petal-like effects and then come out taking the edge of the petal out as well, which is a really nice shape for, uh, for doing um, some sort of, you know, flower that looks more like an orchid. So as you'll see, I've, um, most of those have gone right off and I decided to do uh, another one on here. But what was there, if you look at those, those petals, they're looking pretty good really with just a nice amount of lacing and, and colour on them. I was a bit of a slow learner when it came to how much paint to have on. It wasn't until afterwards when I was reflecting on it I learnt. So this is looking okay and I really wish I'd uh, stopped at this point. Because I think it, it's not a bad balance. One main flower with some other petals and leaves coming coming along. But uh, I didn't stop. I decided to um, do something else. Thinking, thinking. And uh, by this stage, the paint is really thin. So I've got, I've got the opposite problem now. It doesn't have the, the pillow and any pillow really much on it underneath it to help create you know some movement and some some shape in it and I also did a, I think a poor a poor blow there the, the shape's really poor I could have kept uh, going with that one a bit so therefore the shape looked a bit ugly um, bit of a blob there compared to the rest so it didn't take me long to think that one was going to have to go so what I did now is put the um, paint further in. I knew that I'd obviously had it going off the edge, so I thought if I put them closer together, that might um, maintain more of the petal on there. But I hadn't still quite woken up to the fact that it, it's, the, it's the extent of the pillow that's really spreading it underneath. I was a bit of a slow learner on this one. Um, I will tell you what all the colours are um, when we come to the final final bloom when I'll slow it down to normal speed and, and, and tell you all the exact colours colors and pigments. Um, I'll also put them in the description. So as you can see I've moved to the hairdryer. I'm still trying to find just the right hairdryer for this. It's very uh, hairdryer for one and then <laughs> um, mouth for the other. Sometimes I get a reasonable petal shape and other times I go quite odd because of the, the shape of the hairdryer and perhaps how I'm using it. So I think by this stage I knew that this was not going to be um, necessarily a great one. And I, I, well, actually, I, I think this is the one I keep actually. But I've dribbled over that centre flower, which is one of those things that really annoys me. I think what I had noticed was the odd shape of this one of these petals here. <music> By the time they stretched out that was I just accepted that as it was so yep that was that one was a uh, keeper with a very annoying line on there so here I am again it looks like there's a little bit less pillow paint but it's hard to see say because I've actually taken it right out to the edge more this time the only addition of color here is I've added some green apple color to it Really liking this um, golden peach, this TLP golden peach was on just before this one. 
And the other thing I've, I've realised is that I've got to be really careful with how much of this quinacridone, um, quinacridone crimson is on. It's red violet, I think. And you'll see it took some off there at the end, that, that first pour, just because it just takes over. It's really beautiful and it really suits this colour and, and style, but it just it just took over, takes over if there's too much on there. So I just had a really small amount. That was a very poor blow. This is the one I was thinking of actually. I just got some really odd shapes which I haven't fixed up at this point. So in this case, the one I did um, first, okay, it was okay, but the that one at the top's got really odd, odd shape. So clearly lost, <laughs> lost them again. But look at that top, or the one, top one, the one with the more green in it. It just is such a lovely color. And it stops. There we go at the top. It's just really really nice uh, and I just wish I'd had more of that one on so I decided to just modify that um, that shape <music> and again I could have stopped here and that would have been okay but uh, nope I, I did I decided to do another one and again there's very little paint so it it ends up quite um, out of shape, really. There's not, not much, not much pillow. See how when there's no pillow underneath it, it's really hard for it the, to move. That when you when you're using the the blowing the hairdryer so it's just really odd I was going to um, go again and after I put that white line across that other bloom I think that was the final straw for me so I thought bother this I'm going to have one last go so having not had a huge success with my multi blooms at this in this in this endeavor I, uh, I just decided to, to go for um, a, single, a single orchid bloom to, to finish up. So here are the colours now for you. So it's the TLP Cappuccino, which is a brown, but it's got a really goldy, goldy hue to it. I think I just gave it some colour depth. Now this one is the TLP Seaweed, and I think that was a real highlight for me in, this, um, in the colour combinations here. Really gave it that nice green gold. So this is a Perlex apple green. Just have a little touch of cinnamon, TLP. Uh, the paper mode mill rose gold. gold uh, the golden peach again is a, a really color that I really like so I wish I picked up that blob of um, peach while it's uh, there and accessible I thought about it just then and didn't and here's the quinacridone red violet <laughs> So um, you notice that when I've been um, doing these blooms that once I put the cell activator on, I blow down and around a little bit. I just widen that area of cell act where the cell activator is. So then it gives me something, it gives me a wider base of which to blow out the petals. So just a, a, a quite strong puff just to blow it out a bit. Here we're using the hairdryer. <music>
So you notice that I've um, improved my technique a little bit here most of the time. What I'm doing is I'm twirling my stick around, trying to um, keep the paint on the stick and not dropping and dripping over the rest of the painting. <music> easy to get those lines across the painting. So there's that um, peachy colour that I should have got rid of earlier so I decided to just to try and um, remove a little bit of it using my other end of the stick which had a, has a flat a bit I thought I could just uh, twirl it around and get make the white come up. Mm -hmm. 